Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Terrapin Midnight Monk. Apparently a one-time release. Um, there was something called Monk's Revenge, which was also 9.8% alcohol. Now this is called a Black India Pale Ale. Um, you know, everything now is India Pale Ale. No matter what it is. 2014 vintage, 9.8% alcohol. It says right there on the bottle, vintage 2014 and on the label. Good. Put the date, guys. Um, something good happens after midnight. Well, it is after midnight. Since it's 7.40 in the morning, midnight was earlier. <laughs> um, anyway, um, 88 international bitterness units. It uses Magnum, Columbus, Chinook, Centennial, Amarillo, and Cascade hops. The dry hops are Amarillo, Simcoe, and Cascade. They use two-row pale, Pilsner, Munich, special aromatic. Um, DH Carafa 3 Crystal 24. Malts, all these different malts in dextrose. Corn syrup. Okay, it's an adjunct ale. It gets a very good score on Beer Advocate. The bros say it's okay. An 83 out of 100 on Rape Beer and a 44 out of 100 for the style. I've never had it. Like I said, I bought it at Stein's Deli. Um, I have the receipt if you want to know the price. I don't recall it being too expensive. Come on, you. All right. Never had it before. All right. When it was the Mucks Revenge from 2010, I think I saw a review. I don't believe it was referred to as IPA at all. I put it in this West Lathrin 12 glass. Didn't make any kind of head, really. A little bit of cream-colored bubbles that I can tell, but it's mostly just very dark brown. You can see when the light's hitting it, you can see the brown. It looks almost black appearance. It was obviously not a pale ale, okay? It's dark roasted, toasty, like, um almost black bread if you go to Volksfest aroma. Um, there is some citrus though. <clears throat> some citrus, maybe a raisin. Smells pretty good. Let's go with the flavor. Oh, I was doing some research on YouTube and from what I can tell this is the first video review for this beer in the world. There's a monk juggling hops. Mm -hmm. 88 IBU, huh? Dark roasted barley malt. Some citrus like um, Satsuma. I've been eating a lot of Satsumas, so it kind of reminds me of that. Hoppiness, hop oil. But I mean, for real, is this an 88 IBU beer? I think a Coors Light drinker would drink this and not think it was particularly bitter. They might find the taste too rich or chewy or alcoholic, possibly. But the mouthfeel isn't even that heavy. I would say the mouthfeel is um, light to medium, heading more toward medium. The finish is sort of wet. The drinkability is not that bad, but with 9.8, you probably want to watch out. Although a 12 ounce bottle. I don't 
guess it would get you too debilitated, but um, if you drink two of them, you might. Ooh. I guess it's like, I'll put it too high, okay. I mean, it's a sipper, right? So, I wouldn't want to chug it. But I don't even really chug light beers. It's different. <clears throat> How does it stand up against true IPAs like Sierra Nevada Celebration or um, Torpedo for that matter? Well, I don't think it's as good as those. I think those beat the fool out of this. Yeah, this has more alcohol, but <laughs> okay. If you're just looking for alcohol effects, um, go buy Schlitz Gold Bowl. That's close to this, and it's a lot cheaper. Uh, as far as flavor, this is good, I guess. It's not that flavorful. It does have flavor. Um, It's like maybe Beer Advocate says, okay. Making my nose run. Um, it's a little aromatic. It's a little raisiny. Maybe prunes. If you like prune juice, you might like this. Um, if it's 88 IBUs, I don't see it, but... I mean, it's somewhat bitter, but it's hardly bitter. Uh, anyway, I mean, I'm not into all that yeehaw, yippee-yay bitterness. Anyway, so, um, not that I mind. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't overwhelm me. But, uh, it's, you, as you can tell, I'm having a hard time with this. Uh, I'm trying to be fair with it. I, I'll give it a B. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's a good beer. If you want a good beer, buy this. If you're willing, let's see what the price is real fast. Because if I'm only drinking something that's good, why am I paying? Well, of course, because I want to try it. But let's see. Moohoo, Black Forest, Rockers, RJ Rockers, Midnight Monk. $3.29 for this 12 ounce bottle? No. There's no way it's not worth it. I mean, if you just want to try different things like I do, fine. But, no, man, I mean, <laughs> get, they have the KCCO for four ninety nine a six-pack. I mean, that's lower alcohol, but that has flavor, and so, you know, this is no kind of value. I can't recommend it for that price, but, um, I'm starting to feel the alcohol in my um, exhalation, not so much in the bloodstream, but uh, I guess this is kind of a controversial beer, at least in, in my case. So, Les Ailes Les Bon Tournoule, it's, you know, acceptably good. It's a B, and I'm going to end, you could almost say Peels is as good, and I'm going to end this, re but it's different, you know, lager, I'm mass do that. Anyway, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana and check out some andouille sausage.